okay i was telling about the computers and the prices where you can uh, buy a used one but uh, these computers are used so these are not brand new right so what is the advantage of buying this is there any advantages of buying this kind of computer price is low yes price is low obviously price is low that is the direct advantage what is what is uh, the next one there's another one for education there's an extra benefit for of these computers so the meeting was ended so yeah, yeah it's okay so uh, that's uh, every 40 minutes it ends but don't worry reset. yeah we connect then you can use okay what is the advantage of buying this kind of machine the second advantage the first advantage you said just price what is the second advantage for education purposes just for education education purposes, purposes. Yes, obviously this is the best why because you can always remove the components because it's only 1800 no harm removing components and plugging it again even it doesn't work don't no worries because it's not a big price but what happen if you buy a computer for uh, 100000 and remove the components and plug it again now some components burned what will happen <laughs> you have, you can <laughs> yes, ask, yes you can ask beautiful song from your mother or father <laughs> basically uh, they so that's money you know so you can't waste your parents money right even though you have millions billions whatever the worth so don't uh, don't that don't ever do this don't waste your parents money because it's hardly earned it's hardly earned and it's yeah right therefore please stay away even so don't don't worry because sometimes you have enough money to spend but don't waste that that is not the pentium 4 hd is double double co no it's not dual co pentium toy uh, uh, one is single co but see the computer configuration it has 1 gb ram 1 gb ram that's enough 1000 yes 1000 megabyte so but my ram you can see yeah. in my computer i had 16 mb ram now this computer you can buy for 1800 and it has 1 gb ram so that is enough right that is more 1 than 1 gb ram is a lot Yeah, it's a lot right you can do a lot with this kind of machine and you can remove the components you can see what's inside you can plug it again likewise you can use this it's for hard use and education really? and let's say let's go for the dual core one let's go for the dual core one right this dual core machine you can see it has again 1 gb ram and so seems better it has 1 gb ram and this is inside the system unit you have all the components there ram and all this is in well lamp it here right likewise this is pentium 4 pc again some another price and this is desktop computer from kalutara and pentium 4 likewise you can see okay let's go for some high some average machine average quality machine these are low quality but the thing is still you can do your work this machine is i believe this is uh, average quality this one is yes dual core pc right so This one is average quality. This is from Candy, Core to Duo PC. This is average quality, and this is uh, again from Kurunayagala. It is average quality, five thousand five hundred. You can do lot with this machine. Here you have dual core, two GB RAM, Windows Seven installed. Here this one, again two GB RAM, one sixty hard disk, full set with the monitor. Monitor there's a sm small error in the monitor. it's not properly working but anyway it's 5500 you can spend additional 2000 and update this monitor 2000 additionally and update this computer so for 7000 you can buy some good range machine right this one is a laptop but 
don't go for laptops because uh, if you are using use com if you want to buy a use computer don't go for laptop it's not very good to buy a laptop because you can't remove the components but desktop it's easy to remove the components and change it here again a desktop pc from kurunagala here again a computer with a monitor this is dual core core to duo this is also good so now i think you know about the computer configurations a little bit 2 gb ram 160 hard disk and with the monitor this is very good package 6500 worth to buy such machines from gampaha all right now you know about the computers and so let's analyze more let's analyze more right okay single core means it's one processing unit dual core two processing units but faster quad core four processing units how to check your computer they will go computer ka pavichi karana na kohomada check karana how many cores that you have sir what means quad core four. quad core how many cores four processing units four four processing multi tasking four processing units okay then can you tell me how to okay uh, tarushi right can you tell me uh, sorry tushar can you tell me how how to find the um, cores number of cores in your computer kohomada hoya ganne cores kiya thiyena onda kiyala remove the cpu no on without removing that you can find renush renush don't know sir don't know okay i'll i'll give you small exercise okay let me connect to the windows computer right i don't have windows computer for the moment i'm going to create one quickly okay let's go to my google cloud account and here i have okay let's create a windows machine okay sir in the cloud environment i'm going to use admin as the username let's set a password this is my password this part you don't want no? don't think much about this part since i don't have a machine i'm going to trade a machine in a, another place i'm going to trade a computer in another place in the cloud environment google cloud so that is not my so, yes don't think much about this how people no 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 how people connect windows computers make windows computers If you don't have one, yeah, you can do. Yeah, that's why I said not to worry about this one. There's a separate video for this. I'll share that video with you. There's a separate video. I'll share with all the groups how to create this kind of machine in the online environment. Right. So that is again, again, that is like thirty minute, forty minute explanation. That's why I'm not going to do it now. That's not related to you, but still, you can try. It's good if we can. Okay, I'll give it to you. Right, let me connect now. I'm going to connect. My username is admin. The password is is one, the one that I have copied. And let's connect to this. Connect. It will take some time, but okay. Now seems okay. And it's connecting to the computer. And now I am in the Windows computer. It's in the cloud environment. <laughs> similar to the how you turn on the machine and you can now do the practical with your computer if you have a computer now you can do the practical practical you can see what's the configuration of your computer if you don't have computer don't worry look at how i am doing okay now this is my 
compute in the Google Cloud environment. Right. So the first thing that you can do, similar to your desktop, you can see the desktop here. You can right click on this bar. This is called task bar. Right click on the task bar and then go to task manager. Right click on the task bar and then go to task manager. If you are using now, you can do this. Or like then computer ka kriya naon and desktop pe ka kari, laptop pe ka kari, moka kari tiye naon and karana pulwang. If not, forget. Just look at my stream. So right click on the task bar and select task manager. How many of you are having computers by now? Phone nentu a phone ne kaknetu a computer can connect to ne kaud. Seno ka? Sir, mama. Ranulia, okay. Denori? Sir, I am. Okay. Yes, sir. Right. Renosh? Yes, sir. I have a computer. Sandavi? Uh, yes, Sandavi said yes. Okay, Senuka? Yes, sir. Have. Okay. So, those who are having computers, please click right click and select task manager. Task manager. Then you will get something like this. You'll get something like this. Right click, task manager, you'll get something like this. Then click on this more details. Click on more details. Then it will expand. It will show more details. Click on more details. Here you can, if you can see few details, then click on more details. You'll see more. And then go to performance. Then go to performance. There you can see your CPU, memory, CPU and memory. There you can see your CPU and memory. Okay, in CPU, basically what you have to do, here, can you see how many virtual processors are there in my stream? Two. Two virtual processors. That means this is dual core machine. How many of you can see four? Sir, I have. Okay, that means that is quad core machine. How many Excuse of you? Excuse me, sir. Yes. Got another side of the Minna metana pay no the putte mamme highlight karna thana bala. Minna metana. Sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Sir, I have four logical processors. Yes, four logical processors means quad core. Quad core kya lagi yeh dhara manga slide dekhi kiye quad core processor. Four logical processors means quad core. That means that your computer is more faster. Right? Four logical processors. Earlier days we used, we had only one. Right? Now we have two, four, six, eight, even 16. Right? It can be even 16. There are computers in Google Cloud. You can create computers even up to 16, 32. Likewise here, let me show one. This is the Google Cloud. When I'm when I'm going to create a machine here in Google Cloud, when I'm going to create a machine, can write create instant here, create computer. I'll get this window, and here I can see right, how many CPUs I need. Here, two CPUs, dual core, four CPUs. Quad core, eight CPUs, octa core, sixteen CPUs, hexa disk. Like it's uh, not. Uh, I cannot remember the sixteen core. Basically, yes, sixteen core, thirty-two CPUs, thirty-two thirty-two core machine. Right? You can thirty-two CPUs. You can include like this. And RAM, you can see eight GB, sixteen GB, thirty-two GB, sixty-four GB, one to eight GB. This is super, super faster. 32 CPUs, 128 GB RAM. It's very fast machine, right? You can 
create that and enjoy but it will like it's costly right so monthly it will spend 783 dollars monthly hourly it will spend uh, one dollar and so that is the hourly rate so if you want to enjoy this machine for one hour you have to pay one dollar and uh, this amount if you want to enjoy this machine for uh, one month you have to pay 783 dollars big amount right <laughs> so that because machine is very fast very 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 fast you can't buy this kind of machine in sri lanka basically as a personal computer right okay so senuk uh, denuri has sent the screenshot yes let's see what senuk said his one is dual core right you saw dual core dual core machine you can buy for even for mukhi rupial hai das pansi da pul 6500 you can buy a dual core single core machine you can buy for 3000 rupees okay this is what then we have shared she has two cores and four logical processors that's i3 four logical process you can see the logical processors right you can see what's inside this so how to see basically go to your computer and here you can right click and change draft to logical processors right click and change draft to logical processors then you can see all if you have four four all c four cpus now i have two i can see two cpus kohomada right click change draft to logical processors try try it right right click change draft to logical processors i did okay good so if it stores cpus they will show like two pixel pictures yeah 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 two draws okay and this is what uh, denuri has shared she has four cpus but puta your cpu utilization denuri cpu utilization is quite high podda vadi balanna oga goda program run karna odanna and see the memory utilization you have 89% your ram is used hmm that is big amount you have only 10% remaining maybe you are running multiple programs yes sir sir mage ke godak mode te gihilla tiyenne ehena full ah ehema nam mage computer ka tikak slow wenna ona meka udata ma gihilla nam mage computer ka sahena slow me ram ekak yes sir ehema wenawa eka wata adu karagannath puluwam puthe man pennanna da dan me process thiyenawa ne me process wala pennanawa kawuda wadiyen ganna kiyala me here you can see uh, memory again my 80% of my memory is taken that is first taken by this anti malware software likewise what are the programs taken my memory you can see wedi purama ganna ekena me anti malware but mage software ana mama denni computer ek hadu e habai ogolange athi goda firefox ganna me athi chrome ganna me athi so you have more software right so then uh, you can just right click and remove that software and task that software then your memory will be released a little so let me show one thing okay i'm going to open paint then balanna mage memory ekata wena wede here this is my memory 1.3 in use <coughs> i'm going to open internet explorer okay now click okay now you can see it's 1.4 isala 1.3 ni tibbe den 1.4 una ayi pradhana matake main memory ekata thamma main memory will take whatever the programs running currently more current yes currently running programs are there in the main memory let me open another one i'm going to open another one paint the paint is there i'm going to open paint too now i'm going to draw something something like this anyway you can see what has happened to my ram now it's 1.6 now gone up initially it was 1. Point, yes 1.3 now 1.6 let me open another one i'm going to open okay 
Yes. Sir, my memory is zero uh, attack. <laughs> See at that time, sixty percent. Okay, right. Uh, let me open. Okay, sixty percent is somewhat good, right? Okay, let me open. Mm, okay, come on, prompt two. So I'm going to open. Okay, more programs open. Then it will take my memory. Then what? Ha what happen if I close this? It will release my memory. Now one point five. Release this one. Don't save. It will release my memory. Okay. Let me release this one too. Okay, slowly it will step down. Slowly it will step down, but not immediately, right? Not immediately. Slowly it will step down. It will shrink. Right. GPU means graphical processing unit. So I'll explain that, Denuri. There's another processing unit called GPU, graphical processing. Unit. CPU. See what has happened in CPU. Okay, when you open something, Mama, then Internet Explorer open. Can I'm going to click on Internet Explorer. When you open something, CPU will go up here. CPU एक टाग्गर उड़ देगी ना पल्ले टाव, because it will process. When you close something, again CPU will go up and go down. It's also process. Opening, closing is also is also process. When you open something, CPU will go up. You can see. When you close something again, it will go up and come down. When you move something like here, 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 you move the screen here and there, right, right. You are moving this window here and there, but you can see CPU is going up here. CPU is going up. Moving is also a process. That's why when there is a process, CPU utilization is going up. But when it is idle, it will come down. Here I'm doing no work; it will come down. It's only one percent. Sometimes, if you are doing no work, but still your CPU is working, means someone else is working in your machine. Maybe a virus, or maybe an update, maybe automatic update, maybe antivirus. Someone else is in your machine. That means you are not working, but your CPU is working. that can happen right so when gpu is no allow that doesn't matter gpu is basically there's something called gpu graphic processing unit graphic processing unit used when a graphic process can for 3d gaming 3d editing 3d videos video editing for that purpose gpu is used if gpu is low that will slow down graphic activities but not other activities okay right hope you got the idea hope you got the idea of these components and how to check your computers memory now you know how to check your computers yes sir the processing speed and no yes puta you can ask yes you have question Sandavi has asked question. Samara will allow my laptop to get cursed. Ah, Taniya, me, me, me. So maybe, eh, my friend, pull up. Eh, my friend, pull up. Run only. One reason is, uh, if there's a short, muka kari short te kakti na onang me ke atule. Touch pad te ke atule. Eh, eh, my friend. Hari, eh, my netang eh, my friend. Okay, sir. Goda ke allow touch pad te ke aula kati hinda tamai eh, my friend. नेता जी काउंटर कंट्रोल करने को डाल पियो ना कंट्रोल करने को डाल पे ही ना मोस्टली इट्स टच पैड इश्यू राइट ओके सर थैंक यू राइट आई थिंक नाउ इट्स क्लियर इट्स क्लियर एंड वी नो अबाउट द प्रोसेसर एंड द कोर्स ओके नेक्स्ट डे व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस नेक्स्ट डे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट नाउ � right next day i'm going to discuss interesting thing that is basically about wait, wait. what we are going to discuss next day is about uh, the inside cpu what is inside cpu arithmetic and logical unit control unit and how the those units are going to work 
as well as we are going to discuss about the history of the computing and about robots. So please remember that I'm going to show you this nice video. This is about biological robot. This is not electronic. This is cell engineered using primary cells of frog. There is a biological e. robot which is going to live. That is founded and that is discovered in 2020 recently. May I would the 2020 a biological robot. Sir, in about that, yes. Yes. Sir, last year when I did the international syllabus in grade five, I learned about those old generations. Oh, right. That's right. Then you can remember or recover no. the things. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then see you all in the next day. And please book the individual practical session. Please remember to book that. And then you can do the individual okay, practical sorry. session. And see you all in the next week. Goodbye. Good night. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye, sir. sir. Thank you, sir. Good night, 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 sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, no I'm leaving. Okay.